हेलो एवरी बॉडी माई नेम इज हरमनप्रीत सिंह दिस इज पार्ट वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरो नेटवर्क इन द मेडल सॉफ्टवेयर आई विल यूज आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरो नेटवर्क फॉर द प्रोसेस मॉडलिंग सो रेस्ट स्टार्ट दिस इज कोल्ड कमांड विंडो सो वी विल import the data here rename by input and uh, also target so first of all i will import the data as input i have some data here uh, i will take 120 variables here and paste it again tra transport it now and target also same as the input you can see by transposing it the both the input and the target uh, the value is by 4 by 120 and is 2 by 120 uh, that is uh, 120 is the number of uh, variables and the 4 is the number of uh, input and the output is as it to so i will use now the command window before using the command window i want to say that you should save the data while sometimes the system crashed so we some have some backup i have named it as a dds data is saved now we can see here the data is we can view the data in the web window and it say about dds.mat mat is the matlab file extension so in the command window i will type now nn tool this command is used for the neural network now we can see here the command window is open now and the input data target data network data and the output and the error data is uh, can be shown here all over and this is the main window now first of all we will import the data here while importing it where the input as the input data and target as the target data close uh, now we will create the network here i will rename it as harry this is my nickname now network type as the feed forward backdrop we can select it also there are so many network type we, uh, we can select according to our requirement so i am selecting as the feed for our backdrop and the input data as input target as the target moving further we can see here the training function is uh, that uh, is selected as a train lm uh, it's about 13 types and we can use uh, according to our requirements like uh, OSS, GDA, GDM, and so on. Now we can see here is a learning function which is learn GDM and GD. I will select GDM and uh, going further we can see there is a performing function also and uh, there are three types of performance function as MSE. and ms e r e g and uh, i think s s e yeah this s s e uh, we'll take ms e as default and uh, now we will see here is the number of layers that is 2 number of layer 1 is taken as 10 and 2 i will take log 6 for both of the layers now let's view the network Okay. 
now we can see the we have taken the input data uh, here show as 4 uh, which is correct and uh, here is the hidden layer is 10 uh, I selected here is the hidden number of hidden neurons uh, is defined here and the output layer is uh, defined by the software so let's create it now I will close it and now we can see here uh, here we can see that uh, network is available as Harry I will open it now let's train the data first of all we will import the data here we can see the show window is true and the show command line is false we can change it uh, to the true value also uh, by changing through uh, the background script which is running by the purchase and the iteration is uh, done while the training the data is uh, shown in the command window here so it's uh, up to you if you want to change you can change here and uh, it show about 25 by default and the purchase is about 1000 and the time is taken as infinity uh, the goal is zero we can change the goal value also if uh, we have some I mean, certain type of goals like we have wants to uh, achieve that goal as uh, 0.112 uh, wh whatever it is so it's, we can change also uh, for the minimum grade is also defined here and the maximum fail is 6 I will change the maximum value to the 1000 and the purchase as 100 now we can see the value of MU is uh, taken as default as the 0 0.001 and the number of years uh, deck is uh, 0 0.1 and the ink is uh, 110 and the maximum is uh, also defined here so let's train the data network train and first of all we will see the plot where performance plot and the training state regression uh, in this the Leibniz uh, Margaret method is uh, trained and the which is I selected here if you remember in the starting that we selected the train LM LM means the Leibniz and the Margaret uh, and I also selected the MSC so it was a short form and here it defined that MSC is defined as the mean scale error and uh, it is taken as a random variable So let's see the performance plot. So it's uh, the best validation performance is at uh, 146.3579 at the post 2. Uh, here we can see that the data is uh, at the 4 approach. Uh, we can see it's a very good plot here. Uh, moreover, we can see here the blue line show as the trading data and the green is as validation and the red is as a test data where the best fit shows here at the second is uh, two is for the four approach versus mean scale error uh, the what is training data validation and test data let me clear before moving further I will clear what is training validation and test data uh, training data is uh, the data means the whole data which we taken in the this uh, function we can say that uh, in this um, uh, complete task is uh, divided into a certain ratio like uh, now we are doing this in this uh, metal software I have fixed uh, by default value which is at the 70 15 and 50 means that the training data is uh, given as the 70 ratio validation as the 15 and the test data is as the 15 value so the whole data is uh, divided into three equal uh, sub equal parts so here we can see and uh, now we will plot the regression graph here now it's plotting Yes, we can see here the trading is about R is uh, equal to 0 0.8012 uh, 
uh, which is uh, near about uh, good uh, but we can uh, also we have to again train the data which is not uh, too accurate shown here uh, in this we can see that the validation also shown here it is r is equal to uh, 0.77 and uh, overall this is shown here 0 0.79 and this blue line green red shows the fit so the all the data should be near about this fit i will train it again and in this time i will increase the value of the puts and rest of i will take it as what is defined here now let's train here now regression it's a little bit changed for this we will change the weight while uh, re-initializing the weights this problem can be solved I will go back to re weight and get input data here and I will set the insert input ranges the world weights and again initialize we can see here it's uh, minus 3.4088 and set the weight here if it's work we will again change the weights the data is training now the iteration is uh, running It also depends on the type of PC you are using. I am using a uh, uh, Wio laptop with the E series as i5 processor, as uh, 3.1 gigahertz. It has a turbo booster with the 6 GB RAM and 2 GB graphic card. So it also depends on your processor speed. How train and uh, it's, uh, with good processor uh, the system crack less crack in uh, occurs and uh, it will be good for the training and data let's see the performance plot first at 151.3489 at 45 and if, if we talk about the regression uh, yeah, it's little bit changed but it's not too much change again we will try to have it different as uh, re the weight again revert it I will this time I will again initialize the weight this minus 1.4 set weight value and train let's see little bit little bit so for this we can conclude that we have to let let us uh, keep training the data for good results so while keep training the data we can achieve our good output here so this doesn't matter that uh, yeah, is it can be at one time also we can achieve our goal at one time also and while I, I train the data and in my first attempt I get the results but uh, as uh, I have shown you it's a uh, data dry method we have to keep training it and for achieving the goals uh, for example I will show uh, another example here that I have already done this is the example here we can see that uh, the proper fit is achieved at the r is equal to 1 r1 means at 100% and the validation is uh, 0.99 this is also very good results I achieved in my results uh, I take the 18 variables with the 4 inputs and the 4 outputs so the data was also divided into equal ratio as the 80 10 10 so overall is shown here we can see here it is also a very good data 
so its proper fit is achieved going further we can see here the it's also plot the gradient as the point 0011796 at the approach 120 and the uh, constant uh, inclined up graph is seen here as validation check is about uh, 112 at approach 120 so it's a good uh, uh, we can see here moreover we talk about the performance plot here it's the uh, best uh, validation is achieved at the 5.8876 at approach 8 uh, this is the best uh, validation plot here we can see that it's a uh, very good plot like uh, this is a training data and uh, the validation and the test data is uh, increased as constantly so at approach 120 achieve my goals so these these are my results which I tried I was uh, here we can see that uh, I take the four input and four outputs and the hidden layers I selected was system and the output layer I was selected which is system defined is as four uh, and moreover if talk about the type of network I selected that was same as we selected recently as the train LM is a Levenberg market and the MSC same uh, which also by the random method uh, so it depends on the type of the network we created like which I we have selected at the LM we can also take it as a GDM and hope field it depends on your type and the type of your data you have selected here so this is the main part of this the network so thank you for watching the video uh, I will show my next in my next video how to implement the genetic algorithm while using the artificial network. See you again.